up a 24 foot box truck that is broken down on the side of the road. I do not think anybody's with it, but I'm in our 06 Peterbilt B100. We'll get on over here and see if we can get it picked up and get dry shaft removed and air or cage the brakes, whatever we have to do. Uh, get it back over to Mr. Davids. Hope you enjoyed the video. viewers as you see they don't they don't think about uh having to get these big trucks in so hope i can grab him at this angle i might have to move maneuver a couple times under him and i believe i can get over for him a little bit greater size here. Reach out and see how close. How far away I am, and I just have to twist my truck to make it work. Hello? Um, do you have anybody available? I'd say $100.
get my under reach over to the right a little bit so i'm gonna keep coming back and cutting it back in this way and then i should be all right get a hook up now it just i don't have enough uh, it's not exactly centered put my forks on axles like this um, as you can see they're all the way into the inside so really there's nowhere they can go because that's, that's the narrowest part of the axle in between that and you bolts really don't have anywhere to go I didn't put my blocks under there but 
as high as this front bumper is off the ground. That's all I needed to finish getting them tight. y'all can see the drive shaft's under pressure so I got to push in or out on my wheel lift to relieve some of that pressure Still under tension. That's what we want. We just don't want that thing to sling off and hurt somebody. Hurt me. I'm the only one out there.
camps. Put this through there. Ratchet strap. somewhere to security <laughs> now I put my tape on here pull my caps on Whenever possible, that way it keeps sand and dirt out of them. Oh, that's a good duct tape there. I always take my caps and bolts and then my straps and put them in the cab. I got two straps and four bolts. In the floorboard. It didn't have air brakes.
getting close. I like to take, even though we're not towing it by the front wheels, just like everything else is usually a safety for safety. Put a put the seat belt on it. Make sure it's locked. Just in case, you know, God forbid something come unloose and it fall. At least the wheels will be straight. And hopefully, the worst thing would be running the back of my record. You know, and I believe at that point, if it, if it was there, we wouldn't. That would be our main goal to get it stopped safely and then worry about the damage to the truck. But we got our safety chains, safety straps. I got to finish strapping them up. Got lights, drive shaft removed. Does not have air. Hood latch is latched. Uh, got plenty of ground clearance on the back. Uh, I think we're good to go. So I'll be rolling out here in just a second. Try to figure out how I'm gonna get out of here. Then I have to go forward with it. Okay, viewers. As you can see, sometimes you just can't back straight up to them. You have to come in at an angle, and it's a little bit aggravating, but uh, it can be done. Sometimes it's, it's a lot uh, deeper angle than what I had to there, but uh, we always seem to make it work. But hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, share. If you like our content channel, please subscribe. As always, stay safe out there and we'll catch you on the next one.